guys, so it's been four months until my last review of Samflow. So I thought maybe it's time to do give it another spin and just see what change and is, is it worth it or not worth it anymore. So let's check it out. All right, I'll try to make it quick. Let's. All right, so first we need to type in our website. Let's do that. And yeah, doesn't work. Okay, cool. That's nice. I reinstalled this so many times and still doesn't work. Continuing. All right, so we grabbed the whole URL. We're adding it. All right, now we're in. We're running the audit. All right, scan is complete and we get some sort of results. Let's check it out. So the main difference since last review is of course the big feature that they released. It's of course the page insights, which I'm gonna run ASAP. All right, so before we run this, right, uh, I'm expecting it to be way much better because it's a free tool by Google, right? So I'm expecting it to give me some sort of advice and help me to optimize sites. So let's see what happens. All right, so it's running the, the, the page speed score. While we're running the Lighthouse score, I thought it's a good time to remind that Lighthouse score is by any means SEO, but still, it's good that they have this feature. And we have our results back. Um, let's click on see full report. So I just got legit transferred to just free Google tool. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing internally. Um, so yeah, so I think let's check another, uh, all other features, but so far it seems like, um, I still stand my ground. It's a tool that should be free. It makes no sense to pay for it, but let's check other stuff I had uh, four months ago. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the full video that I made four months uh, ago when Samflow was released. So it still doesn't understand keywords as in, in semantic meanings, that's clear. And also there's like spelling mistakes and things like that, but all things aside, so page count thing is still running on a trivial metric, which maybe works for, I don't know, local SEO or tiny sites, but anything decent, you know, any small site is like above 100 pages. Uh, so we have like a small example over here, right? Honestly, UI is barely unusable for any even small site. So I don't know how you would use this on a, on a bigger one. All the metrics and stats stay the same during that time. It seems like there's no actual improvements to it. Uh, keywords, all right, let's see about keywords. Yeah, so, aha. So meta description uh, still doesn't understand semantic meanings and doesn't understand that you can split these words in between. So that's happening. Um, there's some buggy UI. I don't think you noticed, but it just, after I typed in the keyword, it just, contracted the whole list like I don't know it's you it's weird and clunky and it still seems like I've been paying for it uh, for the whole period of four months but everything I don't see any improvements that would make me think uh, it's worth using it and I still stand my ground four months later Samplo um, is still just a tool that uh, you can find better free tools than that because it doesn't actually do any crawling. It doesn't provide you any feedback regarding how to fix any of these issues. Like how do I get now the 69, by the way, nice. Uh, mobile score to 100, if that's something that I care about. Uh, full report is just page link to a page speed insights, which I can go there anyways. Um, Maybe it's fun to have a checklist of making sure that H1 is set, but if you don't set your H1 when building sites, then I don't know what you're doing in general. Um, yeah, so still seems like probably based on what how much they achieved in the last four months, I'm guessing and based how buggy it still feels every time I open it up every, every like a week or two uh, apart, I would still, my verdict would be for any even small site, it's too clunky. Like if you have a hundred or 200 page, like small Webflow site where you're trying to do some sort of thing, it's already breaks the, the, the UI patterns that ha they have set up with these four columns. Um, so the interface is kind of meh. And then my attitude towards adding page speed insights is, I don't know how this is a feature. 
<laughs> I can press F12 and have the same thing anywhere. Uh, and even then I would have some sort of tips of how to fix that. Uh, anything that was before seems no big changes there. I'm sure I'm missing small minor bug fixes here and there, but still it seems like there's more bugs than actual fixes. Um, and I stand my ground. No tool that doesn't crawl SERPs and doesn't give you feedback back from based on SERPs uh, and is not connected to, I don't know, Surfer API or Ahrefs API is worth paying in this day and age um, of, of what kind of tools you can get. So if you're a, so my verdict, final things and final thoughts are just like as follows. I mean, if you're an design or development agency that don't understand SEO fundamentally, uh, yeah, sure, get it, use it, uh, make sure that you set H1s, that you didn't forget to set H1 for a page. Audit, I doubt that there's no audit here. Score, yeah, sure, you see some sort of det detrimental scores. Optimize, for sure not, like moons, like it's, it's as far as the moon to get into basics of optimization. So, and ranking, again, if there's no keyword difficulty for what you're doing, maybe you're a local uh, local business website that's like has a few pages, like, I don't know, so you're just like a micro site with like 10, 20 pages or something, and then you're trying to rank in, within your local market for keyword city, even something like that, and maybe yes, but any other use case so far away from from reality of what current SEO, especially in semantic SEO age, and uh, and, and and when you have to do authority, uh, get authority like globally, as in like and within your niche. So my call would be, still I know better tools for free, but if you don't know SEO or at all, don't have experience with it, sure, why not? Um, and just start, yeah, you guys do. I'm gonna end with this frame. So yeah, that's that guys. See you next time and like, share, follow, subscribe, do all the fun stuff, share with your friends. Hi right, guys. See ya. Bye.